Right then, I've been walking along a little track now for quite some time. I decided not to video it all. I'd done it the other way around last year. Um, I do eventually want to do a track that's slightly higher up on another occasion. Uh, I didn't do it today because I wasn't quite sure if I'd done it last time. I couldn't really remember. Um, but it doesn't matter, there's plenty of opportunity. I've got a lot of exploring to do just up here alone. There's lots of exploring to be done here. Um, but anyway, I'm following this fern path. It's much higher than what I remember it. Um, we should come across in a minute. There's some trees lining down there. That could be where I cross a little ford. Yeah, I remember walking this few years back when I first done it in the extreme heat. It's a lot hotter. Someone said it's only 20 degrees today on average. It could be hotter in certain areas. Um, oh, I'll keep going. Attacked by these ferns. But it's certainly more overgrown than what I can remember. Now there's fields in there. I've only met one, I've met, well, I've met a few couples out with their dogs or, and I met a fa whole family, much near Velvet Bottom. I've just, on this track, I've only met one mountain biker coming up. They wear so much gear, you think, will they be baking with all that on? You know, hats and coats and everything, rucksacks. And they, they seem to enjoy going up hills. I mean, I spoke to one mountain biker well, a couple of weeks ago, and he said that was the best part for him, give it doing the hills. Now, I'll know if I'm on a much lower track when I do come to the fords. That's the only way I know. Otherwise, I think I would have been up there more, but I, I still feel I might have had this lower track. Um, what's called Burrington Coombe should come into view after we get across that ford and go up the other side. We should start seeing Burrington Coombe. Um, once we see Burrington Coombe, we know we're sort of halfway to the fort, if you like. It is a long walk I'm doing. Um, and I, I don't reckon I'll get to the fort until three o'clock. I'm going to be an hour out. And I haven't really, well I did a small diversion at the beginning at Cheddar, where I stopped to do some videos and take pictures, because it looks so lush. But, um, hello tree. Little oak there, don't you? Little oak tree. Yeah, we're going down. Yeah, this is the path, the lower one. The upper one, I do want to do one day up there. Definitely want to do the higher one so I get even more views. <sighs> so I'm just keeping this rolling for a minute. I'm having to charge it up on Energizer already. Yeah, can I remember this being painful on the feet and the ankles, calves coming down here. It's so uneven, see? Yeah, there's no sign of the, um, got lovely views out there. Oh yeah, look, there's a bit of the coombe there. Yeah, there we are. Barrington Coombe there. There's a bit of it coming into view now. I've been up the other side, but I need to explore that more eventually. Yeah, Barrington Coombe. I've stood there, I'm, I've stood on that bit. Further over you've got the Bristol Channel, of course, and all the Portishead and Clevedon. All that over there. Yeah, Barrington Coombe. So we are getting close. This is, um, because you, thing is, if I was up on the higher track, I think I would be able to see it better. Maybe not. It's bigger than that. That's just one section of it. And you can walk along the top. <sighs> uh, 
like I say, it plays on your going down can sometimes be harder than going up. You only got to tread on a little stone, it goes right uh, into your foot. Yeah, it's very peaceful. It always surprises me that, I mean, this is a Saturday and there's nobody out. I mean, what are they all doing at the at Weston's Pride Festival? I like to keep the camera rolling sometimes because I keep thinking when I'm somewhere like this, I should come across a deer. But it doesn't ever happen like that. Yeah, there's a bit more of the coom there. Through the trees, you can't really see it very well. No. Right, we're down in the little valley now, nice and cool. I can't hear the stream. Could have dried up, of course. Can't hear no trickling. No, it has dried up. Well, it is the summer, isn't it? Last time I came, it was a... Uh, it was trickling. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, last time I came it was water was gushing down there. It's almost dried. Of course it will in the winter. Be a different ball game here, you'd need your wellies on to get across here in the winter. Look. If these dry up, they become paths in the end that people will walk down and. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I got to take lots of photos of this bit which I'm going to do now, so over and out.